Okay, so 16 hours passed. Our cold brew should be ready, so we will filter it out and taste it. Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and if you like cold brew coffee, but even if you don't, but want to learn more about how to make it right and tasty at home, so we made this video for you. Okay, there are people who love cold brew coffee and there are people who hate it. Honestly, we were somewhere in the middle, yet we see a big trend of cold brew coffee, so we thought we need to reevaluate. Every year, there are more people searching for cold brew coffee online. The cold brew coffee business is growing by 25% yearly, should reach 1.63 billion US dollars by 2025. And there is even new scientific research to better understand cold brew coffee. Now, the most important question is, can you make it taste good? And that's where some baristas and coffee professionals disagree, mainly about the idea of making justice to high-grade specialty coffee we like to drink. I hope they will have a better idea about the answer at the end of this video. In principle, making cold brew coffee is very simple. You get coarsely ground coffee, you add cold or room temperature water, you let it steep for a long period of time, usually 12 to 24 hours, then you separate coffee ground from a liquid and you have it. Cold brew coffee. It's really not complicated, but there are a few questions you need to answer at the very beginning, and that's what the rest of this video will be about. Was the right coffee for making cold brew coffee? Was a good cold brew recipe for you? And what coffee brewer or technique can you use easily at home? We will give you five options and our review at the end of this video. What's the best coffee for making cold brew coffee? You can really use any coffee, but when we ask people on our Instagram page, there were two kinds of answers really. Use leftover coffee or coffee that is getting old. This recommendation came from the people who don't enjoy cold brew coffee in general and use it as an option to save some coffee beans before it loses all the flavor. And people who like cold brew coffee, they recommend using sweet and fruity coffees. Perhaps African coffees, naturally processed Ethiopian coffee, perhaps some experimental processing that elevates both fruitiness and sweetness and creates a bold cup of coffee. What brewing coffee with cold water does is that it cuts the edges both on the bitter side, but also on the acidic side. So if you are using coffee bean with high acidity, it will help you to bring some fruitiness also in a cold brew coffee. Since we don't need to bother with the bitterness that much either, you can also experiment with the coffee beans that were roasted for espresso. And this will help you to extract coffee a little bit better. In this video, we decided to use two coffees. Both are filter roast. One is more classic. It's Ethiopian wash coffee that is roasted by 50 beans coffee in Brno. And other is more experimental. It's Indonesian coffee processed with anaerobic fermentation and it's roasted by father's coffee in Ostrava. When it comes to cold brew coffee recipes, there are two main approaches that you can choose from. Cold brew coffee that is ready to drink and cold brew coffee concentrate. Cold brew coffee that is ready to drink is somehow similar to regular filter coffee, but cold. For that, we'll use a brew ratio of 1 to 15, which for this video means 40 grams of coffee to 600 milliliters of cold water. Cold brew coffee concentrate is useful if you plan to dilute it with more water, milk or tonic water, for example. In this case, we'll use a brew ratio of 1 to 6, which for this video means 100 grams of coffee to 600 milliliters of cold water. Next two variables in the cold brew recipe are brew time and grind size. It's recommended to let the coffee steep for 12 to 24 hours. It's a personal choice, you need to make a sure you know what works best for you. We chose 16 hours out of convenience. We'll prepare it in the afternoon and it's ready the next morning. We will use a coarse grind size, which is for this video of 35 clicks on the Commandante grinder or 14.5 on EK43. We didn't try to optimize it for each brewer and ratio. Rather, we made it uniform and tried to see what's the result. So, we decided to show you five cold brew coffee makers that are suitable for home users, but are very different when it comes to the size, ease of use and price. These are Cold Brew Kit by Goat Story, Mizudashi Cold Coffee Pot, Asobu Cold Brew, Tori Cold Brew System and our Do-It-Yourself Cold Brew Maker. Let's make coffee with them one by one. 
Cold Brew Kit is an attempt to make cold brew coffee as easy as possible. It comes from a Slovenian company Goat Story that you might know thanks to Gina Coffee Brewer. For about 22 euros, you receive a stylish glass jar with an airtight lid and a box with three packets of 40 grams of pre-ground coffee. The only thing you need to do is to put a bag into a glass jack, add water and wait until it's done. Mizudashi cold coffee pot is a simple cold brew maker from a Japanese company Hario. It consists of a glass jack, plastic mesh filter and a cover. We have the mini version, which can fit about 600 ml of coffee, but there is also bigger, 1 liter brew available. It costs about 16 euros for the small version we have and about 21 euros for the bigger one. Asobu Cold Brew seems to be the most sophisticated brewer from the test. The upper chamber is made from Triton plastic, it has a cone-shaped metal mesh filter and lid with air hole. The middle part has a release mechanism that lets coffee to drip down with the press of the button. The button part is insulated. It should keep your coffee cold for up to 24 hours and you can easily close it with an extra lid. You can fit around 900 ml of coffee and the price in Europe is around 60 euros but it seems that you can get it in the US for 50 or even 40 US dollars. Toddy is a golden standard when it comes to cold brew coffee their system was developed already in 1964. It comes with a plastic brewing container and brewing handle, a glass decanter and decanter lid, two felt filters and a rubber stopper. It's the largest and most bulky brewer from this video. It can fit up to 340 grams of coffee and 1.65 liters of water. We get it for about 48 euros, but it seems that the US retail price is around 40 dollars. Now, the last brewer is not really a brewer, but a collection of items we have in the office. As a brewing container, we use the Labramix glass water carafe. It can fit enough liquid, it has a lid, it's wide enough for cleaning. Then, we will use a sieve to separate ground coffee, and as an extra layer of filtration, we will use Hario V60 papers. Since most have these items at home, we can say the price is zero. Okay, so now we just finished brewing or making cold brew coffee in these five methods. And now we'll leave it in the office for 16 hours, which means that tomorrow morning we will taste it together. Okay, so 16 hours passed and our cold brew should be ready. So we will filter it out and taste it.
Now our cold brew coffee is ready. We have it in these five bottles, but it's in the room temperature now. So we'll put it to the fridge for a, maybe an hour and then we will taste it. Okay, so the first cold brew from our test, we did in our own do-it-yourself dripper. And as you can see, it's, it's rather light, right? It's almost red color, so I can expect that probably it will be rather lighter cold brew. We filter it with the Hario V60 paper filter, so it should be really clean, but really light actually. Probably we should grind a little bit more finer or let it, let it steep for longer. It's Ethiopian coffee and we brew it as a ready to drink cold brew. So you don't need to dilute it. Actually, it's really refreshing. Good. Another cold brew, this time it's from Cold Brew Kit from Ghost Story. Uh, it's uh, also Ethiopian coffee, but a different one that we use obviously because it's a coffee that we get from them that was already pre-ground in bags that we put inside of the, the container. Let's see. The color-wise, I think it, this is a little bit darker, so I expect more intense flavor. It's made sort of also ready to go like uh, 40 grams of coffee to 600 milliliters of water. It has more body, more like a um, kind of lemony or citrus, citrus acidity. Actually, for the fact that I didn't need to care as much about brewing, that's really good. Okay, next cold brew. We use the Hario Cold Brewer and it's an uh, Indonesian coffee. It should be much more intense. Also the color, if you look at the color, it's much more darker. So it seems like it's, uh, it's more extracted or the coffee was easy to extract in this way. Again, it was uh, brewed as a ready to drink cold brew. And um, there was a plastic uh, filter mesh. So let's see if we can taste it different. Okay. <laughs> so it's much more intense aroma, much stronger, rich, but there is some kind of aftertaste that I might not enjoy as much. Again, refreshing, that's cute. <laughs> okay, so this cold brew was made with a Asobu cold brewer, and this time it's actually a concentrate. So we use 100 grams of coffee to 600 milliliters of water. That was the plan, but actually for Asobu, in order to cover all the coffee grounds, we have to add some more. So it was about 700 grams of or milliliters of water, but it should be really fine. So it comes in this uh, insulated container. Color of coffee looks great. I will taste it now as a concentrate and then I will uh, dilute with some water. It's um, Ethiopian coffee, the same one that we used in the previous cold brew. Uh, interesting is that comparing to other, other ones, it's not as cold because insulation didn't <laughs> let the coffee cool down in the fridge. So. Uh, but the taste is really good. I, I, I prefer it much better than the, the previous one. I'll try to add a little bit of water to dilute it. Maybe like this. I think this might be the perfect strength for me. Wow, that's my favorite so far. Okay, and the last cold brew we are going to taste, I'm going to taste now is from Toddy Cold Brewer, so the classic in cold brewing, and it's a concentrate again. And we use an Indonesian coffee, so I expect it to be really intense, kind of punch of fruit and uh, sweetness. It's a big container. So we brewed only uh, 100 grams of uh, coffee to 600 grams of water. So as you see, it's kind of half empty, so you can brew much more coffee. Wow, <laughs> just... This, this is very, uh, very concentrate. It's, <laughs> I think I would need to dilute it. It's actually perfect if you want to dilute it with a lot of milk or, or tonic water. But let's just uh, dilute it with a little bit of cold water. Really good. I thought that this coffee will be even more intense actually than the, the Ethiopian coffee. That was a little surprise to me. Wow, I'm surprised. I like most of the cold brews we did today.
Okay, let's sum it up. To make cold brew coffee at home, you need to choose the right coffee that you like, pick the right brewing recipe, ready to drink or concentrate, buy or build a cold brew coffee brewer that meets your needs. Here is our recommendation. If you like cold brew coffee but don't have a grinder or don't want any mess in your kitchen and are okay with the limited offer of coffees to drink, cold brew kit from Ghost Store is for you. If you drink a lot of cold brew coffee, perhaps you make it for a whole family and you have enough space on your shelf, then Toddy cold brew system is a great choice. If you want something simple, relatively cheap, easy to clean and fridge friendly, then Mizudashi cold coffee pot is the right choice for you. If you plan to make cold brew coffee and like design and want something stylish for your kitchen, then Asobu cold brew is a solid option. And if you are like us, you don't particularly love cold brew coffee but want to experiment from time to time, then you can just use equipment you have at home and build your own cold brew coffee maker. Now, if you want to learn more about cold coffee making, not exactly cold brew, we made a video about three different ways how you can make cold coffee at home and also how you can make cold drip coffee at home using the air press and its extension called Pak Pak. Also, we plan to explore this area a little bit more in the coming videos, so subscribe to our channel if you like it and also turn the notification on so you don't miss our next video. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.